I'm going to jump in on a 15-10. I'm only playing one game. Um, let's just bring the knight out. Okay. And just bring the other knight out. Try and be as basic as possible. They're doing the Fianchetto stuff. I'm going to just push the pawn here. And I'm going to bring the bishop out just... Bit of lame chess going on. I'm going to bring this bishop here. Castle. They're moving dead quick. Um, I'd love to see what their ratings are on the other things. Super speedy. All right, so we've got a center. This is like basic baby chess I'm playing here. Uh, I always get scared playing on this side. It's like I don't play many games on here. I'm just doing the daily ones to practice the long play game. This is a longer playing game, 15-10. I do think their seconds go down a lot faster than other sides, but never mind. Right, what do we want to do? Because they're just steadily away just doing the stuff. Do we just come in from the back or do we push forward? They're, they are expecting us to push forward with the pawns. Takes, takes, opening up space, maybe looking to disrupt the pawn structure. In my head, I'm going, I don't mind doubling my pawns, but I'm trying to get away from it. But I'm not losing too much sleep if I don't. Which is the more scary one? I think the more scary bishop is probably this one because it does double the pawns, whereas the queen is protecting the white squared knight here. So I'm going to push this pawn here, just blocking in. They can always touch the head of the snake, as we know. So the knight's in. Bishop's not doing anything at the moment, so we could hit the knight, hitting the pawn. But then he's going to have a two-on-one with his knight on this pawn here with the bishop. Could bring the bishop through, attacking the knight. Or does he come down and just attack our bishop? But we would get a bishop for free. I think there's pawns going to be pushed down. I'm going to bring the bishop here, just attacking x ray through to the bishop, through to the rook. I'm ex probably expecting... Oh, he's moved the knight anyway. So the knight is protecting the bishop. So let's take the bishop off the board. Let's overwork the knight. We still do have this jammed in bishop here. I don't think they're going to be happy with that. They're moving extremely fast. I'm hoping they're making mistakes. So... Potentially looking here, maybe to attack here when they go on castle on the king's side. They might not castle on the king's side. I think they'll be wanting to get rid of the head of this snake though. So do we have a response to that? Can we attack now? It's already got one piece defending, which is the bishop. If we attacked now, they might not take. But if they did take, take with the knight or take with the queen because the queen would be on the knight. But he just pushes pawn down. I think it might be an opportunity to push onto the pawn and try and make a break on our turns rather than their turns. They might not do anything. They might not even touch it. This is the slowest they've moved now, isn't it? So they do take, right? And we did say potentially there's the queen coming here. It's attacking the weak pawn. It's attacking the knight. But obviously this is going to come down. Does that weaken anything? The pawn comes down. The queen is here. Can't drop into here because the knight's protecting. So I think it's probably better doing the knight. So doing the knight. There is potential for this. But he does have his knight and his bishop protecting here. So we go with the knight. The pawn pushes down onto the knight. This square is being attacked by both our knight and the bishop if that happens so i'm going to bring the knight up capturing and we're assuming they're going to go here it's tempting to go with the bishop oh he's not doing that it's just going for an exchange so we could bring the knight here put a check on the king so the bishop takes the pawn takes the pawns on the knight I don't think we'll save the pawn though because the knight will come around. No, I get taken there. We'll go there. And the queen's going to be on that. 
get the bishop up. So I think we could put the check on the king and take. And take, and we're assuming he's going across here. Or do they go back again where they came from to attack the pawn? Then they'll have a 2 on 1 on the pawn. That's probably what they're going to do, actually, go back. Uh, they haven't gone back. They've gone to a half decent ish type ish position. Because if we go there with the bishop looking to protect the pawn, this knight takes. Maybe the queen can take. It's protecting it a little bit. So I'm going to bring the bishop here, but defending the pawn. It's a nice position for that pawn, you know, because it's kind of stopping. But we'll see how it goes. We're flexible. So now pawns are going to be attacking or something or the other just to try and get rid of this. But the king is airy, so we'll get maybe utilize the pawn power here. And squish the king over somehow. So it's still even Stevens. Yeah, materially. We're hoping to try and improve the position as best possible. But I think he's just going to start hitting the bishop. Again, now they've slowed down. So in the back of my brain, what I'm thinking is they started off so quick, really quick, really powerful. It looks awesome. And what we say is, well, you know, when you're moving that fast, really, you're going to be making some sort of mistakes. They've captured, so we'll take with the queen. So I'm hoping they do continue to make mistakes because maybe it's too late for them now because maybe, hopefully, their position isn't as good because they moved too fast earlier on. That's what I'm hoping on. That's what I'm hoping on. I think they're going to castle, aren't they? The, the, oh, they're not castling. They're not castling. Let's put the check on the king. So this could... Oh, it's the knight. Oh, very nice. Okay, right, right, right. Bit of fancy dancing. It was the knight. Can the queen come across somehow? And I can't get in there, can I? Pawns are just going to hit it. Come here. Pawn hits it. Keep being a menace. Oh, but he takes the pawn. Ah. Come here. Hits. Or do we just come here? Just come all the way to this here. Just keep that. We might as well keep supporting this pawn. It looks annoying. Now they can castle because knight is protected by the pawn. Maybe getting the knight up somehow. Obviously getting this rook opposite their queen. Maybe should do something. So I'll just slow my brain down now. So we're on 12 minutes, so I think we've utilised our time a little bit okay. But now we have to, we're getting into the crux of the mid-end game. Yeah, so they have castled. This pawn doesn't have any protection on it. We could swing the queen down. Is that a waste of a move, though, because we wanted to get here? Maybe it's not a waste of a move, because the king's doing has to do something, or they push, and then we go in. But the knight is going to be active, isn't it? Let's just bring the queen here. It's a nice target. It's targeting towards the king area. The knight's feeling free. Free as a bird. Queen's got our pawn. So I've tried to give up the pawn for a better position, but I don't think I have. We need to get rid of that knight. Oh. I've given them the speed back, haven't I? I've given them the speed back. 
Let's go here, attack this pawn. See if we can try and own the files with the rooks. Yeah, a little bit eager with my queen move attacking the pawn there because we gave up our pawn. But it's still even Stevens, I think it is, yeah. It's even Stevens. Still trying to improve the position on the board. We're targeting. And this should be a nice position for the knight. It should be a knight, unless, of course, he's going for some sort of exchange. So maybe it gives us time to double up. They could keep the knight there forever and just start pushing this pawn down. In my brain, it looks like it's going to end up being a draw. But like I said, we're playing this effy thing. I think I'm lucky to have got this far. <laughs> so pawn majority, they've got pawn majority on the uh, king side, queen side. And we've got pawn majority on the king side. As we jump into the end game what's this fancy pawn maneuver just picturing i've got the knight here situation they're obviously wanting us to come and attack the pawn just remember if they go here then the knight can take one of the rooks off the board so they might go here like this But I never know what the opponents do. They'll find some sort of magic. And I think this is the kind of magic we're talking about. I take. Maybe the rook then comes across. But yeah, I think we can still work that. Let's do that. We're not going to lose a rook. But he doesn't have to exchange. They've given us ownership of the file at the minute with both of the rooks. But I think a simple trade down is just going to even it out. This, I think this could end up being a draw. So we've got rid of their poor majority on the you know on the queen king side queen side. So we're now plus one. So he's going for a trade down. So I'm going to bring the rook here and just keep owning the file. Got to be obviously mindful of the back rank situation. So we need to move the king at some point. He does capture, so he'll be coming for his back ranker with the rook, sorry, with the rook here. And it can still peter out to be a draw quite easily. Uh, he's not doing that, he's pushing the pawns. Let's bring the rook up. Poor king's stuck on the back, I need to get moving, rocking and rolling. So my brain's now thinking, well, if we can hold the draw and if they make a mistake, then we can push for the win. So let's just keep draw mentality in mind at this moment in time so we don't get carried away. And they're just supporting. The king's going to come across and get us. I think we need to probably stay behind our pawns with the king, but maybe not go too far up. Might have missed the opportunity. Push and block. There might be a technique that they're using here, though. Yeah, just thinking. So if we go there, he takes, we take. Then his rook comes down, puts a check on us. Then we come here, comes back up. We attack the rook. Hmm. Well, we come across, and then if he locks down... I think that's okay for us. Or if he takes, we take, but then he takes. I think locking takes, takes. Maybe he doesn't come for the check and he just goes straight for the pawn. Yeah. I don't think I'm a fan of them apples. So why don't we just take it? And then he takes. And we push. Then he keeps on pushing and taking and taking. 
Yeah, shabby times. Let's just take the pawn. We can always bring our rook down and just defend our pawn. We don't need to get hard to do it. Push here. I think we can just bring the king rook down. Let's not get too arty. I don't think pushing here gives him options then of pushing and then we take in and then he's coming down attacking the pawn. So I'm bringing the rook down and defending. This king's going to start trumping down. So we still have poor majority on this side. Like I said, could peter out to be a draw. But let's keep that in mind. Hold the draw as best possible if we can. Let's bring this here. Tuck in the pawn. Maybe he goes behind and then we can hit. He pushes. <sighs> then he's got a passer. Hoo -hoo. So we might need to think about that. He has gone behind. So we could go up. Just blocking and then hit. Yeah, go up and then hit. But then I suppose he can just drop this here. If he drops there, we hit. He takes, we take, he takes, we take his rook for free. So nice and steady way, blocking as best possible. Going to hit, like we said. Could even hit the rook, but we're not going to do that. Let's hit the pawn. You have to be careful. Sometimes you can do these things, and I'm thinking, yeah, he takes, and then I take his rook, but then somehow he gets down, and I can't actually block him. But my rook can come across here. If he does take the pawn, that might be a bit of an issue. Oh, shall we take? I think we take. Let's take. This king's getting a bit close, though. I don't know if we... Oh, yeah. Let's go here. He's faster than me. Oh, no. He's faster than me. Oh, can you believe it? Oh, shabby times. We have more pawns on this side, so I think they've got a little bit more to think about. Just take time now. Take time. Um, pushing stops the king from coming here so he's going to have to come over and support his pawns like I said this could be a draw quite easily so if I push and do a little bit of a step maybe try and get this one to here to here So it's a move order thing now. It's not a speed thing. It's a move order thing. That's if they allow us. They may block it off. So that's my next move. But I think the king is looking to come across. Well, yes, it has done. So. If we do the step, his king comes here. And then we hit the pawn. And if he takes, then we take. And this king's coming behind us. And we push again. Takes and we take. But that's not going to happen. The king's just going to get excited. So we could move the king backwards and forwards. But that's what they want. They want to go for a draw. further across he goes we'll be able to come here and here his pawns are a little bit high up the board so maybe we'll just do this one because he's not going to come down for this so he'll come across and then we go up I'm going to do a count then let's have a look one two Three, four, yeah, that's too fast, so, so they'll win, they'll win if we did that, if we do this, 
वन टू थ्री then we're going and his king's in the way so that would be faster that would be faster let's do that yep i'm saying i'm hoping i don't fall for the counting mistake that i'd fallen for oh this pawn's not up there oh. <laughs> that's okay though it's okay we counted we counted it should work out unless of course he goes here like this we didn't count we didn't factor for that Captures. I think it's a draw. His king's going to be fast enough to get across to the other side, isn't it? Let's just leave it there. Yeah, it's going to be fast enough, but I'm, I'm wanting to try and block it. Oh, don't do that preemptive rubbish again. Right, has it stopped now? Just fast enough. 12 minutes, I think they'll resign now. Wow, end game. Oh, fantastic. 